Let's say you've decided to run for president. A lot of people are mounting serious bids this year, so you'll want to stand out. I think we're back. What you really need is a good logo. It's been that way forever because it's the simplest way to talk to voters without actually talking to voters. Barack Obama's logo changed the game in 2008. The campaign set out to design something iconic, and they pulled it off. That logo was everywhere. Now, everyone wants a logo like that. Every cycle, they try to outdo each other to come up with the next big thing. Susan Creedle is the chief creative officer of FCB Global. She takes boring things and makes them seem less boring. And you got cut rate car insurance? Took it all state. I'd be better protected from mayhem. She made you actually want to watch an insurance ad. She's like Don Draper, except not, you know, drunk at 3 p.m. on a Monday. So, like, what role do logos play in, like, modern branding companies that want to sell things? I think they're huge, and today they're more important than ever because they're the fastest way, the distillation of design, to let you know where the company's ethos starts. And I think with fragmentation, where we're meeting people all over the place, if, if you don't look kind of familiar, I think people don't add up all the messages together. So what I want to have you do, since you are such a person who knows about this world so much and what it makes a good logo, is we have like a million presidential candidates right now. So I just want to take you through a few of them. So let's just start out. I brought, like, this is how many there are. Like, the, the, this this folder very is thick, very thick. Yes. Okay, so this is Mayor Pete. Yes. What do you think of this? It's a little retro, which I think is smart, because I think if you think about who you're competing against in this election, there's a little bit of a retro when you talk about Make America Great Again. I might have um, done a little bit more red because I think you do want to read America. I think if people feel that we're walking away or giving up on red, white, and blue in America, I think that could hurt the people that, you know, are kind of sitting in the middle questioning what's going on on the Democratic side. All right. Biden. Joe Biden. Strong. Mm -hmm. America. Feels modern, though. Doesn't feel retro. Uh, Next, we have... Governor of Washington State. Yeah, this was a hard one. When I saw this one, it felt like some kind of tech insurance company. The serif type feels a little fussy to me. Governor, former governor of Colorado, John Hickenlooper. <laughs> I love the name. This is Tulsi Gabbard. How does it land with you, an actual advertising professional? So, you know, at least it's distinctive. At least when I start to see Tulsi, I think, okay, she's the candidate from Hawaii. Then if I start to think about what she's saying and start to identify the message with her, it could help. This is uh, Congressman Tim Ryan. This is his campaign slogan. I thought Tim and Ryan might be running together. Okay. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I think that's enough for that. Oh, wait. <laughs> that's, that's, that makes sense. Okay. This is Michael Bennett. It does kind of look like it, they might sell outdoor clothing, but that might not be a bad thing. Former Oprah spiritual advisor, Marianne Williamson. I think it stands out. I don't feel like I've I'm looking at a presidential candidate. What does it look like to you? Face care. It's fairly bold. It feels angry. Senator from California. I think this one is like, it it feels proud. My name is Kamala Harris. It's not goofy, it's not cute, it's not one name, hey. Uh, Uh And I think with For the People, that is a statement, you know, that you can start to build, you know, a, a narrative on. Elizabeth Warren. Warren, yeah. What is the font? like say to you. I like it. I think it says strong, but approachable. All right, so, and then this is sort of like the class, this is this is last year's, or yeah. last like was hippest. Logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I were Bernie and his team, I would say, let's stick with what people know. Let's stick with what is familiar and positive. I think it's smart that they're not changing it up. And I guess the question I have is, are any of those things oh anywhere God. near as powerful as this? No, no. This doesn't feel like there was any effort put into it at all. I mean, yet it is like one of the biggest icons probably of, at this point, a generation. Probably. Yeah, but I think it's the language and what it means, and I think it's the story behind it. And what I would say is you can put a lot of money into design, but if you don't have your narrative right, and by the way, who are we appealing to? Middle America, not fussy, not sophisticated. Sometimes design can actually be too, too fussy, you know? And this is like, everybody's welcome. It doesn't look like it's telling some people, we're too good for you. 